Hi everyone, Eric here with a review on the centrifugal turbine fan laptop cooler. This is a very high output laptop cooler, a very interesting design. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the temperature drops. I'll show you some smoke and some uh, sound comparisons to the more typical laptop cooler. This is a uh, axial fan. This is usually what you'll see in most laptop coolers, uh, but I'll show you a difference between the two and let's get into it. And if you guys do like this one, I included a link in the description down below where you can pick one up. So first thing you'll notice when you open the box is you get your manual and then you got this huge hole in the middle. It just almost looks like it's missing something. But what that means is you have your fan in the back and that's gonna blow a huge volume of air up here underneath your laptop. So this is the type of fan that you normally find in like tower fans. Uh, and you don't really see this in laptop coolers. This is the first time I've seen it uh, in this direction uh, like this, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull air from the back, right back here, and a little bit up top, and then it's gonna blow air through here. And it actually, you see this big hole right here. This is gonna blow air straight at you and it's gonna cool off your wrist and then it's also going to fill up this area right here with really high pressure air. And what that's gonna do is just completely evenly cool off the bottom of your laptop. And because actual fans create a higher pressure air, you will actually get more air being pushed through the bottom vents of your laptop and cooling the insides of your laptop a little bit better. So if you notice in the back, you have a huge intake back here and that's gonna be really good for like soft surfaces. If you are gonna be putting this on like a bed or a couch, uh, there's really no way you can suffocate this system. Um, or if you use your laptop cooler a lot like in your lap, um, a lot of laptop coolers will have their vents at the bottom. So if you put this on a soft surface, it's just the fans kind of get suffocated and they don't really do anything. So this one is really nice. You have all this area back here for the, the fan to take in plenty of air and uh, push it all out to this huge uh, duct right here. And because you don't have any fans sandwiched in the middle of the uh, cooler, it creates a very rigid design. And then the metal blade is exposed, so you can easily get in there and clean it with an air dust cleaner. And you do have three different angles, so you can set it just as it is, or you can flip up the bottom feet, and then you flip up. So if you wanna type at an angle, you can flip it up once, that's gonna give it a little bit more of a more of an angle here. And then also, if you push back right here, you can pull down more extenders. So if you like to type at more of an angle, you can do that as well. And that's gonna give you a pretty good angle right there. And you even have these uh, little tabs up at the front. So if you wanna keep your uh, laptop from sliding off. And then your power cord, this is unique to this laptop cooler. So what you do is you have your uh, port right here and then you know you are going to lose a USB port if you do plug this into your laptop. But I always just plug mine into a, a USB hub. All right, and I'll show you guys the smoke in two different settings. Right now it's on low setting and then I'll go ahead and turn it up all the way on high. Okay, so that's a low setting. Let's go ahead and turn it on high. Okay, now we'll test out the uh, normal, this is a normal laptop cooler with your uh, axial fans. Let's give it a shot.
Um, this is on low setting. I'll go ahead and turn it up to high. Okay, this is on full blast. This is definitely one of the most powerful laptop coolers that I've uh, ever tested out. I mean, that thing is moving a ton of air and it's really not obnoxiously loud. It, it's definitely quieter than, than some uh, normal laptop coolers, some of the axial fan laptop coolers. Um, and then when you turn it down, you can just, you can barely hear it. And even on low settings, it just moves just a lot of air. So if you do have a really hot laptop, if you do a lot of gaming, or uh, video editing. And some laptops just tend to get hot. This would be a, a really good laptop cooler for you. All right, you guys, and that's my review on the new Invader by First Player. If you guys do have any questions, please just leave them in the comments down below. And if you found the video helpful, I always appreciate that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.